Hey guys, what's going on? I'm not gonna stunt this video or stall it too much. I just want to get right into it So obviously I don't know where you guys are living if you already don't know this But the nether update has come out on alpha now on the last two videos that I made on this Which I have already pumped out two videos as you can see on this screen now with two different subjects I said that the full nether update was out But it has actually come to my attention that the full nether update isn't out yet. There are still some things to be released Okay, so anyway, let's get right into the video. As you saw by the title, we're discussing factions. So there are actually two new factions. Now, what are factions? Well, factions are actually super interesting. So first, there are two factions, the mage faction and the barbarian faction. What factions are, are basically these kind of, well, factions that you join. You have to do a little bit of a task to kind of prove yourself to get in. And then once you do that, you're in the faction and you have to do more tasks to get a better reputation in that certain faction. It's really that simple. And as you can see, if you're in a faction, you have this little faction symbol beside your name. Now, a crucial thing to know is that before you actually can get into a faction, you have to speak to L and do her quest. So as you can see on screen now, you speak to L and you have to kill the blazes to help her out. Then she'll walk to this middle of the field and she'll require a couple of items, two specter dust, three blaze ashes, and three magma chunks. The way to get these items are the following. So you get the blaze ashes from just killing normal blazes, you get the specter dust from killing wither specters, and then you get the magma chunks from killing magma cubes. The magma cubes are a little bit in front once you exit the little castle area, and then the other two mobs are to the left of L. Now once you collect all these items, you actually have to go ahead and talk to L and give them to her. Then she'll give you an objective to explore the island. All you have to do is head over to the barbarians area where shown on screen now. Then you try to enter this big barbarian thingy and Elle will start talking to you, telling you that you can't enter it. Long story short, she'll give you a quest that makes you talk to four different NPC villagers. You have to talk to four people on the barbarian side and four people on the mage side. So once you've talked to all the NPCs, your next step is to go back to the beginning where you started and just follow L to where she goes. She'll be leading you to the mage area. Okay, so once you have actually followed L all the way back, long story short, she'll give you an option to go either mage or barbarian. Now, if you choose to go mage, which I actually didn't, she'll end up giving you a bat phone, and long story short, you have to go to this person called the Dean, give him the bat phone, then he will give you a letter of recommendation. Then once you've done that, you have to go all the way up to the queen, which is just above where Elle just was, and give her the letter of recommendation to join. Now, I'm sorry that I don't actually have any footage of this, but I picked Barbarian, so I couldn't get any footage, and the alpha server is now closed, so I can't really record anything new. But as for the Barbarians, as you can see, I just picked them. What you have to do is follow L. Now, what you have to do is actually follow L all the way back to right near the Pigman's base. Now, as you can see over here, she stops in the absolute worst spot possible near all the spiders. So you have to clear out the spiders and talk to her. Then she'll tell you there's a corrupt monster and it'll be this very, very obvious spider with a purple name tag. All you have to do is kill it. Now the mob will actually drop sulfur, which is very important. You'll then have to follow her over to this pig and simply feed the pig the sulfur after talking to her for a little bit. And as you could see, the pig ends up turning to this NPC named Hugo. Then they'll just ramble on for a bit and basically you have to follow Yigo back with L and go to the king, which is his father. So you start walking back and as you're walking, you have to defend them basically. You just have to kill the spiders around the place and also you have to pray that the admins don't decide to shut down the server. Okay, 
So anyway, getting kicked out of the lobby aside, basically all you do is follow them all the way back to the king, where the king will be very mad at you go and talk to him, blah, blah, blah. And then basically the king will be happy that you saved his son and just invite you to the barbarian faction. And then after that, you'll just mope around for a bit and talk to him. And then L and Yugo will be in the back of the area. And you just go ahead and meet them and you start doing little quests. Now there's a few more quick and important things about factions. Number one, there's this big daily board and it has a bunch of different quests on it. Basically, you just have to do these quests and they're in different subcategories like fishing, fetching, and a bunch of other categories that are related to the nether update. Also, on the opposite team side, there's this little book that says switch faction, but I'm not really sure how it works because it says that you have to have been in that faction to switch back to it before. But yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. I hope this summarized factions as quick as possible. I really do apologize for not having much information on mage, but the reason is because there was really no way that I could find out to switch. But I hope this video suffice, and I hope all you guys join me and my fellow Berserker gang. Obviously, Berserkers are a lot better than Mazes, let's be real. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this new update and all the new stuff going on with the factions in the comments down below. Personally, I think it's really cool, and it's almost like a new commission system, as you have to do these daily quests. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and that's gonna be it for today. I'll see you guys later, and yeah, peace.